Hi, and welcome to this course on building applications for your mobile phone using native tools. My name is Shad Sluder, and I teach software development and computer science at Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you're one of my students, welcome. And if you're on the internet from somewhere else, well, welcome along. My goal is to make you a software developer. And in this niche market, building applications with, for mobile phones, uh, you can use a lot of different tools. So what you want to learn in this course is how to build native apps. So native means you're using Android Studio and the Kotlin language. Now there's lots of other choices that you could pick from, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, that's a good place to start. So the first question should be, is this course for you? The uh, target audience is somebody that already knows some programming. Let's say you're familiar with Java or JavaScript or C Sharp or Python, and you know the, the basics about loops and variables and arrays and maybe some object-oriented programming. It helps if you're a web developer already, but if, you, um, if you're starting from that point, then this, this course will be a pretty good stepping stone for you to maybe launch into a new job or a new career as a software developer in mobile apps. Now, if your technical skills are not great, but you're a good manager or team lead, then I have a course for you that would fit your skills. It's called The Business of Building Mobile Applications. And it talks about uh, market research and about testing your audience, about making viable decisions, about hiring the team. And you can do the work of leading the team rather than the individual uh, contributor, like coding and troubleshooting and testing. So this course that you're looking at right now is very technical. The other course called The Business of Building Apps is much more managerial. So a master's degree program might cover that. And so if you like that, then I'll give you a note here. So go to studycoding.org and you'll see this course and others for all kinds of development if that's your thing. Now let's look at the index of all of the things that you can expect in this course. First of all, why Kotlin? Why native? Because there's lots of choices that you could pick from if you want to build an app. And, and what about those Apple phones? So that'll be our first subject about your choices. Secondly, we're going to do a review of the language. So Kotlin is Google's preferred language for building no mobile apps. They also allow you to use Java, and they also have a language called Dart. But Kotlin seems to be the current favorite or preferred one from Google. And so we're going to do two chapters on that. One about the basics of Kotlin, and then how object-oriented programming works with Kotlin, because that might be different than what you've seen before. Uh, the first app we're going to build is a simple list of jokes, and so it'll show you how to build a scrollable uh, interface so we can see a whole bunch of things and move them up and down, which in previous uh, versions of Android was kind of a challenge, but you might like the, uh, the Jetpack Compose approach that they have today. The next activity will introduce view models, which is a nice way to handle data that is displayed behind the screens and, and uh, cluster it together into a nice package. We're going to work with navigation, so it allows you to have multiple pages to your app or multiple screens and a nice way to navigate between them. So we'll do a simple app on building that. And then we're going to uh, start uh, storing data. So the first version of our database will be in memory. It'll just be a, a list that uh, kind of disappears when you close the app, but it's simple. And then we're going to introduce some more complex UI elements. So things like check marks and sliders and little drop down boxes, all the elements that you would normally have in a typical user interface. And so we'll build an app that will make all those work together. Then we're going to do some data storage. So built into your phone is a database called SQLite. And it's um, like any other SQL database, if you've seen those before, where you can save things to tables and have queries to fetch your data for you. And so we'll save our list of data on the phone, so that way you can use it between sessions. And then we're going to introduce um, a concept called Room. So automatically uh, managing your tables in your database is a library function that you may or may not like, but it is certainly a common practice. And then finally, we'll do something called dependency injection using a library called Hilt. And so if you look at the scope here, you can see that this is far more than just hello world. Um, what I try to do is to teach you 
uh, a little bit of software architecture and well-designed apps, as well as just writing code. So if this is interesting to you, uh, stick with me, maybe subscribe to the channel here, and then we can uh, get started right away with the first topic, which is called mobile choices and why you would pick Kotlin as your language to build your first apps. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started with the first chapter.